Hey everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here. We are working out a section P in IXL's eighth grade math dealing with transformations mainly today. We're going to identify reflections, rotations, and translations. Uh, this is the first of my videos in section P um, that has talked about translation, so we'll introduce that. All right, so we're looking to see which of these shapes below is a rotation of the original. Which one's a rotation? Well, this one over here, C, is easy to identify. It's a translation because I can just slide it right over there. Uh, this one, B, looks like a reflection. If I reflect it over this line right here, um, that would be match the purple shape there. This one down here is the rotation. Say if I place it right here, uh, the point of rotation would be right there. If I rotated it on that point, everything would just come around and match that. In fact, I'll even show you with some lines here. Uh, let's see, this point to the center of rotation over to the corresponding point on the new shape. See, that's a 90 degree angle. And let's do that again with a different color. Uh, this point to the center of rotation to the corresponding point, there's a 90 degree angle. And let's do one more, how about, I'll do orange. Let's go from this point to the center of rotation to the corresponding point on the new shape, another 90 degree angle, because this would be a 90 degree rotation of this shape. If I rotate it 90 degrees around that point, it matches. So point A, or shape A. Okay, now we're looking for a, uh, translation. Some people call a translation a slide. Not some people, a lot of people actually call it a slide. And like I said, I think this is the easiest one to identify. So you have to be able to slide it without rotating it or twisting it or reflecting it at all. So there's B. You know, if we just slide it straight down here without changing its orientation, this point over here is still pointing to the left. Um, that one's an easier one to identify. So B is the translation. The other thing about a translation is um, when you connect corresponding points, you get a bunch of parallel lines. So let me show you that. So this point to this point, they correspond. This one to this one. This one to this one. And this one to this one. So when you connect corresponding points, you get all these parallel lines. The, another thing about those lines is they're all the same length. So you get corresponding lines that are all the same length because every point moved the same amount in the same direction. All right, now we're looking for a reflection. A reflection. Okay, so a reflection, um, that's a translation, so we can rule that out. That looks like a rotation. Okay, so we can rule that out. This is our reflection right here. Uh, and a reflection has a line of reflection. So I'll put that. So this would be our line of reflection right there. Flip it over that line. It's like our mirror. And when you connect corresponding points with lines here, like this one to this one, um, number one, this point over here and its corresponding point over here are the same distance from the line of reflection. They also form a 90 degree angle with the line of reflection. And you can see that with other points too. So I can actually flip this. So a reflection is also known as a flip. So that would be A. All right, uh, now we're looking for a translation. I don't think you'll have too much problems with translations. It's just a slide. Can I slide that onto C? No. Can I slide it onto B? No. Can I slide it onto A? Yes. So A is the translation. Looking for slides. Remember the idea of connecting points corresponding points, we get parallel lines that are the same length. Reflection, oops, 
Okay, this one's kind of tougher. This one's a translation, though. Some people might think that's a reflection, but that's a rotation. This is actually the reflection. So where's my line of reflection? It would be this line right here. Okay, and when I connect corresponding points, so this point to this point, they form a 90 degree angle there. You can see that. So that's why this one, A, is the reflection. So let me show you why um, this one isn't. So if we think that that's the line of reflection, but then you go and connect corresponding points, is that a 90 degree angle that's formed right there between the blue and black lines? No, it's not. So that's why A is the reflection. One more, we're looking for a rotation now. Rotation. So A looks like a translation. Maybe, maybe B. Let's try. Yeah, if I rotate this 90 degrees counterclockwise, it fits perfectly, so that's gonna be B. All right, so I think that's a good introduction here to skill UYL, Identify Reflections, Rotations, and Translations from Section P in IXL's 8th grade math.